Hi everyone, Tankers here. Um, someone recently asked me if I could make a video on how to find uh, when the price was crossing up through its 200-day moving average, um, which is you know normally a fairly bullish sign. And so I thought I'd make a second video that shows you how to find what's called a golden cross. Um, a golden cross is a you know very very common indicator um, used by technical traders and you know fundamental traders will mention it every now and again. Um, but it's basic where you know medium to long term moving average is crossing through um, an even longer uh, moving average. So the one that most people tend to use is the 50 day moving average crossing up through the 200 day. And the reason why it's seen as a bullish indicator is because you're using fairly long timelines or you know longer moving averages. It gives a bit more strength to the um, price momentum. So you know typically a stock might have been in a long term downtrend. Um, and then the, um, the the moving averages are starting to you know cross back up and cross back through you know as they've come down and collected it and um, will start to drag the price up as they go up. Um, it's typically how it works with these slower moving averages. It's just sort of a an indication of the overall um, direction of the stock. So without further ado, start off with a blank chart as always. And what I can do is I can simply go find me moving average. And I want to add two of them, so I'm going to double click it. So I click twice, and you can see it's added two moving averages up here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to click the first one. I'm going to say make him my 50 day. And I'm going to color this one green. Green is good. That's how I always think about these things. Uh, so that's my 50 day, and he's green. And so I'm going to go OK. And so that's my 50 day moving average there. And then this is my 200 day. I'm going to make this my 200 day. So I'm going to make this one red. So this is my you know, much slower, longer term uh, indicator. And so 200 day, and it's not really 200 day, it's 200 period indicator because but because I've got my chart set to one day, you know, it's it's a, it's effectively a 200 day. I could set it to one hour and then it becomes a, you know, 200 one hour indicator. That's, you know, the, the 200 day is the one that most people seem to look at. So, you know, if I scroll back and I can sort of see here, you can see that, you know, Cross down through here. You know, it's a lagging indicator, but you can see what I'm. You know what it's done is it's crossed up through here, and you can see you know Apple's had a you know fairly good run ever since. Um, and so I'm going to look for more stocks where um, that green line is just at that point where it's just crossing the red line. So the way that I do it now that I've got it on my chart is I simply click on my stock screener. Um, I go to my filters, and I always click reset all. I've selected that I you know want the US stocks, so I'm on the US stock um, market, you know, US stock prices. And so what I'll do now is I'll type in moving average. And in this video, what I'm looking for is I want to find when the simple moving average 50 is crossing up through the simple moving average 200. So here's my simple moving average 50. So I'm going to say crossing up. And this is where people get stuck. They think you've got to enter a value in here, but you don't. You go crossing up and my simple moving average 200. And so you can see I've gone from 10,000 stocks down to 72. And so I'll close this now. And so these are just a bunch of headings that I have, but you know you can certainly put your own ones in there. And so what I might do is I might say, let's sort by yearly performance just to sort of show me the stocks that you know, might be doing a little bit better. And so I'll have a look at this first one, SRRA. Now, what I'll do is I'll zoom right in. And so you can see right here, this is where it's starting to cross over. The price has already, you know, started its, you know, because again, because it's lagging, the, the stock's already started heading up. And you can see the indicator is just at that point where it's now about to cross um, SUP. Again, the price has already started moving up, but you can see the indicator down here has started to cross. IRCP. So again, indicator started to cross and the price is already moving up. It's obviously had some you know, re reasonably good earnings. And so that's just a, a very simple way that you can, you know, spot, you know, when these, um, you know, golden crosses form and, you know, it'll, it'll give you a good idea to, you know, see if it's a stock you want to trade. Um, you could add a whole bunch of other indicators if you wanted to. You know, if you've got 72 results, that's a, you know, fair number of results. So what I might do is I might say, um, show me where the price is, let's say, up 2% for the day. And so that'll take me from 72 down to 9, so that's quite good. 
Um, so I'll have a look at the top one again. And so you can see, you know, that's had a fairly good run. Um, if I look at the price, it was, you know, it's up 7.75%. So, you know, that's quite interesting. Now, just as a, as a bit of extra fun, if I wanted to now trade that stock, if I looked at that and I thought, geez, that's a, you know, interesting stock that I'd like to buy. Um, if you've got a account, you know, with someone like Alpaca or TradeStation, it gives you the ability to um, buy and sell stocks directly within the platform. Um, both of the both of the alternatives, you know, both Alpaca and um, you know TradeStation only allow you to um, uh, buy US shares. Um, hopefully, at some stage in the future, you know, someone like Interactive Brokers will come along and you know allow you to trade stocks, you know, all around the world. So, um, if I look at my TradeStation account, I assume that I'm still logged into it. So I want to remember SUP because we want to go back to SUP. So you can see here, you know, I've got NEO sitting in there. Um, and this is how it looks once you've actually bought a stock. So you can see that my buy price, you know, when I bought back in was down here. So, you know, it was around that uh, $21.80 type mark. Um, I've got a stop loss that's sitting up here. And I could have a take profit if I wanted to. I could put a take profit that would sit up here somewhere. And so you can see NEO, um, currently I'm up uh, 100%. Um, Workhorse, I'm currently up 6.27%, and I'm running a much tighter stop loss on that one, just because it's you know it's a little bit, um, I guess more volatile. You know, Neo certainly had a very good run. Workhorse is sort of trying to work out what it's doing. So that's just a, an easy way of seeing, you know, how you might be able to buy and sell stocks within TradingView. And so if I go back to my um, Alpaca account. I've just got two accounts just to you know, try them both. And I go back to SUP, which was the stock that um, we saw before that we thought was interesting. So the golden crossover has happened. It's had a really good run. Um, I can find out how big that run is by going to this little indicator here. It's one that I've got saved in my toolbar, but it's just in this you know menu here. And so let's say the start of the run, you know, that was kind of where it was down there. Uh, it's going to be hidden in between those. And so that stock is now up 240%. So that's quite interesting. And I don't know what he is, but he's certainly been up a lot higher previously. So, you know, possibly might have more to run. But you can see how this, you know, it had a really big, geez, he's had a long fall. So it'll be interesting to find out more about what this stock is. In theory, he's down, you know, 2,000% doesn't quite work that way but you know that gives you a, a rough idea so anyway so he seems to be making a little bit of a pullback at the moment so if I wanted to try and trade him what I'd do is I'd close that um, I'll zoom in a bit more just so you can see just you know me holding control and moving my mouse arrow up and this is just a bit of fun so you can see that my account balance is a thousand dollars I haven't, haven't done anything with this account I'm going to use it for auto trading um, but what I'll do is I'll click on this little uh, order panel symbol here um, theoretically, there's you know level two data, but you know that never works, so it's not something I really bother with. But anyway, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to say, well, his current price is now four dollars seventeen. I'm a bit worried that maybe he's run too hard, so rather than buying at market, you know, and, and just saying, you know, buy me this stock as soon as it opens, what I might do is I might put a stop on it, and I might say I only want to buy it if it gets up to let's say four dollars. I don't know, $4.35. If he hits $4.35, I'd be interested in buying him. So let's go $4.35. So it's a stop price. So it's not going to order it unless it gets to $4.35. And what I'll now do is I'll go, um, I know that my balance is $1,000. And so I'm going to see, you can see my, if I drag one of these little suckers up, this one here, I think, a little bit cramped for space. But you can see my trade value here is $4.35. My pip value is 0.01. But four dollars thirty-five is the main thing I'm going to look at, and so I'm going to say let's have a hundred. So my balance is now four thirty-nine. I'm going to have another hundred, so that's up to eight seventy-four. So I'm going to add twenty-five. I'm going to add five. So that's too much. So five has taken me over a thousand dollars. I've only got a thousand dollars, so I'm going to go negative, negative, and so I'm nine ninety-six fifteen. So I'm happy. I'm happy that that's going to um, use up that full amount. So what I'll do is I'll shrink this back down a bit. So I know I've got my balance right. Um, so it's going to say 
if it goes up to four dollars thirty five order me two hundred and twenty nine stocks and so what I might do is I might say let's add in a take profit and add in a stop loss and I'm going to say if the price gets to I don't know what do you think um, if I if I drag on this thing here you know and change the chart height it allows me to move it around I might say if it gets to five dollars let's take profit and at the same time, if it goes down to, let's say, $3.90, because I want to make it, you know, I want it to be making higher highs, um, sell it, you know, get out. So, um, you know, I'm going to buy it at $4.35. If it drops down to $3.90, I'm going to sell it and take my money back or, you know, whatever I've got left over. It's basically going to cost me $100, you know, my $1,000 trade. Um, if it drops, you know, it must be around 10%, which is what it tells you here. And so then the next thing, this is a really tricky thing to know, is to work out. Um, you can have it so that time and force day means basically when the market is open for that one day, or you can say good till close and have it so it sits there and it runs, you know, until it literally hits. There's an alert or something. Two seven nine eight. I'll go, go and check that out. Um, so the interesting thing is on Alpaca, it's not letting me trade extended market hours, whereas if I went to um, trade station you'd actually see that you'd actually see day plus and you'd see GTC plus which means that I can buy that stock you know an hour or two before the market opens so anyway so that's just how I set up an order um, and then I literally click um, buy and you'll see yeah so insufficient buying power so that's interesting this is the first time I've used the alpaca on here so let's reduce my quantity by a little bit so let's go Let's make it down to say 220. And so it's saying that my balance is now, drag him up. So my balance is now 957. So let's try now and see if it goes through. So click buy. Yep, there we go. So you can see here, so it's saying um, your order's in the system. It's going to sit there and, you know, wait for something to happen, um, wait for the market to open. You can see that my stop loss is now, let's zoom in a bit. Let's uh, close him just to give us a little bit more room. So you can see um, my stop loss is here. My buy price is up here. So I'm only going to buy this stock if it goes up to that level there. And if it gets up to $5, I'm going to take profit. So it's just a super, super simple uh, system. You know, both are, you know, TradeStation and Alpaca are both very easy to open up their accounts with. Um, they're both, you know, good, good companies to deal with. So that's how you can find stocks that are making a golden cross and place an order all within trading view hope that was um hope that was useful I don't think there's anything else i need to tell you i could i could potentially also right click on that and go um add an alert um at four dollars so i've said buy it if it goes up to 435 so i'm going to say it goes up to four to thirty-five. Send me an email that says um, you have you have purchased you have purchased um, sup. I can go create, and so what that'll do is it'll send me it'll play a pop up. It'll send me an email, and I'll play a really no, it doesn't play a sound, but you can also do email to SMS, but I'm going to go uh, create. And so it'll only do that once. The expiration will be in a month's time, which is, you know, well and truly long enough. And so I'm going to go create. And so I'll now get an email um, if I purchase it. And it's assuming that I'll purchase it when it goes to that um, price. You've got to remember, too, that these are stop orders. So um, it doesn't mean that I'll buy it for 4.35. It means that my order will go into the market um, when it hits 4.35, and it'll go in as a market order. So it might mean that I'll pay my 4.35, or it might mean if the price is gapped up, I might only I might have to pay 4.40, um, or I might have to pay 4.50, depending on what happens. You know, if it, if it really does shoot up, um, you can prevent that by putting in a stop limit order. And so a stop limit will simply say. Um, Here's the price that I, you know, I'm happy to, you know, well, let's, let's do an example. So I'm happy to buy it at four dollars thirty-five, but don't buy it if it goes past, let's say, four dollars fifty. 
And so this basically means that somewhere between $4.35 and $4.50 is where I'm prepared to buy that stock. So, you know, that was just as a, as a bit of an example. So I'll close that. Um, if you want to edit your orders, you just go to orders. Um, you can see them here. And so you can certainly edit it, delete it, cancel it, you know, do whatever you like. So it's um it's kind of interesting. So um, I might go off and see if I can work out a bit more about what this company is and then um, uh, work out if I leave these orders in or if I delete them out of the system. But it certainly does look like it's uh, a stock that has had a pretty pretty big history and something's going on right at the moment. So who knows? Fingers crossed. Anyway, thank you very much for listening.